Welcome back to the Handy Landlord. I've been a little under under the weather. I wasn't gonna record this job. I've been under the weather. I've been discouraged with recording and stuff. And came out to my truck because uh, I did grab a Starbucks today. I don't carry it in the property. You'll see why in a second. I normally don't, but uh, I went ahead and got a Starbucks. Today's been a rough one. I don't know why. It's a laundry list of items. I guess uh, the previous tenant called code enforcement or something. I have no idea what's going on. I just have a laundry list of things. Uh, some weird stuff like uh, supposedly there's CO2 in the house. There's a gas leak. Yeah, a bunch of different things. The shower valve. Um, so I have the furnace going full tilt. Uh, I've already brought my CO2 detector in here and I cannot, uh, I can't get any reading for CO2. But here's a, here's one of the ones, he's twitching right there. Can you guys see all these? Like look at that one, he's just on his back, flipping around. Look at all these roaches, man. Stupid fan. I can't stand when the fan is on one switch, but that's the best thing for rentals, so then they have to use the fan. I did get this new light off of Amazon, uh, a USB and a C port, so that I can charge my GoPro, so I can keep it charged 24 seven, because uh, it's constantly dying. Dear little guy, I'm just having a good old time. All right, now I was just at Home Depot, and I literally do not understand why you would buy this shower valve. Glacier Bay shower valve is the same exact price as a Moen Adler. Just buy the Moen. We're in jeans today, it's very weird. Yep, just like that. Yeah, something's not right here. <coughs> All right, I'm doing something wrong here. Just a roach just crawling there. Now what you need for this is smooth jaw plot, uh, channel locks or a big wrench, but I don't think I have either right now. So really careful not to slip. I'm so confused. So confused. I guess, I guess this just slips on there. All right, so I think this just slips on there and then you tighten it up. Why is there a screw right there? I mean, this plate is what's keeping the shower valve from moving. There we go. I'm just going to put this on there. Hot. Cold. I'd uh, say that the tub needs snake too. The way you do these are go like this turn it just a little bit with it all the way down and then you can uncrank it now I need some needle nose take the needle nose oh yeah I don't really like doing this with the water coming going down you know with the tub full but uh you don't really want to lose that into the trap but look at that Are you guys putting down here paper oh yeah something down there Christmas. All right, let me get the rest of that out of there. Now this landlord does get extremely good pricing from me. Regardless, I just like to put my snake in there and make sure at least the trap is clear. There you go. Pull back that. I just like I just like to confirm. I just, it's something about me. It's already flying much better. All right, that's done, that's done. I need to caulk around that. I need to caulk this tub. I'm not really willing to work with them right above my head like that. Right, so I gotta re-caulk this tub. I like this little tool right here. Uh, it's pretty good. It's a nice little scraper to get this out of here. I will just want to note you know there's like a little chip here and chip here gotta be careful on those a lot of this i probably just end up going over trying to get some of it out and then uh yeah scraping that scraping that all down getting that and then resealing it this little thing's sticking out of the but i just saw that and i peeked down in here and i was like what is that does anybody know what that is? That's weird. 
Now this goes on white and dries clear. That's what I'm using. Any of the ones with the for the clear. All right, I guess I wasn't recording, but uh, all right, I cleaned it all. I cleaned all that caulk out. And then uh, right now I am caulking it. I already did both of the vertical joints, both the corners, boom, boom. And then uh, right now I am caulking this area down here. Now I'm trying to get, shove the nozzle back in there and get a good, hopefully you guys are seeing this, and get a good bead up underneath there. Cause it's hollow back in there. I hate that. And there's nothing back in there. So I'm trying to get a little bit of squeeze out, but not too much. I'm trying to keep it pretty consistent. Cause if you keep it consistent, when you run your finger through, and my GoPro shaking, but when you run your finger through, it'll be a lot easier for you to smooth out evenly if you keep it pretty consistent. I remember a guy telling me one time, he was telling me, so I used to do apartment maintenance, well, kind of apartment maintenance, and, uh, the guy was telling me, oh yeah, like I really try to smash my finger in there and you know, make it make it really tight. I said, I use my thumb. Give me back in a year to re-caulk it. I try to keep it nice and clean, but the biggest thing is that it's sealed up. That's the most important part. I got a little baby roach over there. There he is right there. See him? He's gonna go mess up my caulk. What's going on here? What in the world is going on? Next on the list, I have to mount a carbon monoxide detector. If you don't have one of these in your truck, uh, the Stud Buddy, uh, I'm telling you what, this thing saved my butt a couple times trying to find some studs. There's just magnets on there, and it just picks up where the nails are to tell you where the studs are. like the type of carbon monoxide detector that gives a digital reading. So just keep that in mind. So 10 years worry free. And then this one gives a LB for low battery. There's some that actually alarm whenever they're out of batteries. Makes no sense. Makes absolutely no sense. These are new boots. Get away from my new boots, boy. Yeah, I got these boots. I, I'm i looking for a pair of shoes that are kind of like a tennis shoe. These aren't really it. So I need like a, I need like a, just a pair of like work tennis shoes that are heavier duty than regular tennis shoes. Whoa, whoa, I think that one just fell off my light. And I picked up this uh, duster mop thing just for this job. I'm not bringing my brooms in here, I can tell you that. next issue on the list is that the sink is leaking so what I normally do is fill them up run the sink and find out where the leaks at uh, pretty easy to tell uh, coming from the wonderful sprayer so it's definitely coming from the sprayer I also think that maybe the faucet is leaking i don't see any leaks anywhere else but anytime you turn these shark bite fittings after they've been there for a few years they they just uh fall apart and start start leaking same faucet i always use and i'll be darned if they didn't switch it again i just ah oh, this stuff drives me crazy like, I'm sorry, but you need a couple nubs sticking out of these two other holes to keep this thing from moving around. I don't think that this is a good design. This entire base plate is gonna end up moving around as soon as this nut loosens up. I did learn one thing. I was just trying to get this on here, and I did learn that you have to have uh, both of these flat parts matched up to get this on there. So, I don't wanna learn that underneath the, of a cockroach-filled sink. So it has this like rubber ring there. I might actually just run a little bit of silicone around there 
just to give it some more grip on the outside of this like rubber. Why, why? Like why did they switch this? There's the bottom of the base plate. I have no idea if this is right or wrong. I don't know. This is what I'm doing. Faucet wrench thing does fit, does fit on here perfectly, so that's good. But man, oh man. All right, come back up here. Make sure it's straight and then crank it down. Personally, do not think that that is gonna stay in place and I think that base is gonna move all around. So I will caulk it again here just to more or less try to keep that base from moving around than anything. I can tell you who didn't design that as a landlord. Yeah. Furnace? Yeah. 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 Yeah.